How's your day going, guys? Mine, not so good. Well, I got a rabbit, but something else got them before me. Look at that. Probably mice or weasel. Eat right through them. Oh boy. It's been mild for a couple of days, so it was raining yesterday. I didn't get to check them. Uh, the trails would have been too soft for the quad so shit so check my snares yesterday didn't have anything my rabbit snares come down this morning and I catch another rabbit but as you can see that one's eaten as well uh, this is the second rabbit I've caught since I made the rabbit snaring video how to set snares there and uh, both rabbits have been eaten one by a mouse and this one by 
I don't know, weasels or something, I would assume, because it's tore to shreds there. But I checked these yesterday and never had anything, so it was just overnight I probably caught him, and already he's been eaten. Unreal. What a waste. Alright, so we're going to skin this rabbit out that I shot today. Uh, I had a snare beside my cabin that was broke. The snare was bust off the tree. Still a little piece of snare on there, but the snare was broken. And uh, while I was there today, this rabbit came out by the cabin and I seen that he had the snare on his neck. So I got my 22 and I uh, I put him out of his misery, we'll say, because this snare was stuck around his neck, so he probably would have died a slow death anyway, so I just went ahead and killed him with the 22. But uh, we're going to go ahead and clean him up. Nevaeh is my helper today. So this is a knife Joe's Neon sent me. I think it's pronounced Mula, M-U-E-L-A. Could be wrong, though. Could be pronouncing it totally wrong. Joe's Neon sent it to me with... Uh, the little package he sent me with the uh, axe sheath and stuff. So uh, thanks a lot, Joe. I have used it a couple times already. So I'm just going to show you guys the way I do it. If you don't want to watch the skinning part and the cleaning, go ahead, skip ahead to whatever time I, I put on the screen right now, and you'll be past the uh, cleaning part. And uh, the, fa the fan door is banging because it's really windy and cold out right now. So so you guys have to ignore that. So I just start at the legs here. Just peel the skin away from the legs. I come down and uh, I'll skin him out around the crotch and his tail and stuff and then I'll just pull him down like, a, like I'm pulling off a sock. So when you get down here, you take his front legs, pull them in. You can see I shot him right in the head there. Snap his legs like that. His front paws. The bones are very brittle here. Knife, please. Thank you. Once you break his bones, you can just cut right through there. Just like that. Now what I'll do with this, I'll use this in a mink box or something. I'm back. Did you like that part? And that's his head, right? Where? Down there. Mm -hmm. I still didn't like that So part. try to open his uh, belly without actually puncturing his stomach. Sometimes I do accidentally, but... It's not a big deal. So we'll find his kidneys. One. Those we can eat. Where's the bowl, honey? You don't throw away his heart. You don't want his heart and his uh, liver. Where's his heart? Should be right here. Where's his liver? Oh, I hate that. Is that his heart? Liver. I hate that. 
And here's his heart. heart right there. I don't keep the ribs. They're pretty uh, pretty useless. What do you do with his head? What's that in soup? Soup. So there's uh, one front paw, front leg. Not a whole lot to it. Not much to eat. Usually you can come around his shoulder like this. Just cut it right off. Hold that. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> I can hold it before, but not now. Funny, I'm wearing my, wearing my bunny fur hat. That's not real fur, silly. So there's his back straps. There's a hind quarter. Pretty small rabbit. Whoa, that was close. There you go. So here's what we have, two hind quarters, two front quarters, kidneys, liver, heart, back strap. Where's the heart? Here we go, take it inside, clean it up. I'm going to put it in uh, marinade overnight and then we'll uh, take it to the cabin and cook it. So after I get the rabbit cleaned up, what I do is I get a pack of this marinade, meat marinade, French's. I just get it at uh, Dollarama, two packs for like a buck twenty-five or something. If you buy it at a grocery store, it's like three something a pack. But I, I get it at uh, Dollarama. Probably enough. I like to double bag the uh, double bag the rabbit because the bones are pretty sharp, so it's nice to double bag it. And then I'll also put it back in a shopping bag too. There we go. One rabbit. Try to get as much air out of there as you can. So what I'll do is I'll throw it in a shopping bag as well. Just in case that one leaks. Those two leak I should say. This bag's ripped. I'll just lay that in the fridge for at least overnight, maybe even two nights, and then uh, when I cook them, it'll be uh, nice and tender and uh, falling off the bone just like the last one I uh, had at the cabin there. So guys, now that the wood stove is up to temperature, I'm going to go ahead and get my rabbit on. Uh, I have some carrot and turnip, an onion. And of course the rabbit that uh, I put in marinade, still in marinade, so it's going to be nice and tender because it wasn't last night that I put it in, that I cleaned it up and put it in marinade, it was uh, the night before, so it's been in marinade for quite some time and it's going to be, it should be super tender.
So we'll just let that simmer now for, I don't know, I, I'd like to let it simmer for a couple hours. Turn it over halfway through. Uh, I'll try to let the stove die down a little bit because it's a little too hot right now. And uh, yeah, should be a good lunch. I just came back from uh, cutting another trailer load of wood. Oh boy, that looks good. That looks good. Yeah, the veggies are getting soft. How's that look? Look at that rabbit just falling off the bone, eh? Very tender. Liver. Gonna be a good lunch today, guys. Good lunch. Oh, it's hot in here too. I gotta get this clothes off. Doesn't matter how cold it is outside. When you go, when you're cutting firewood, chainsaw, carrying wood around, chopping wood, sawing wood. Doesn't matter how cold it is outside, you're always going to uh, you're always going to be warm when you're uh, cutting firewood. Definitely time to eat. Some liver. Heart. Kidneys. That's gonna be a good lunch. Pretty good. Try some liver. Kidney? Not bad. This is heart. Sun is hot.
Yep, that's pretty amazing. So guys, before we go, I just want to give a, a special shout out to the younger kids who watch my channel. I know there's a lot of kids out there that, that uh, you know, like to, like to follow me along on YouTube and Facebook and stuff. And hopefully my videos encourage you guys to put down the video games and, and get out for a little bit. Don't get me wrong, I, I like to play video games every now and then too. But, but this is where it's at. Outside, being outdoors, you know, building shelters and... and and hunting and trapping and stuff like that that's where that's where it's really at so uh, hopefully my videos do encourage younger kids to get out that would be awesome if it does uh, I just want to give a special shout out to Jackson who watches my videos with his dad uh, he's five years old and apparently he loves my videos so thanks a lot Jackson for uh, watching and thanks to his dad and uh, hopefully, you know, you, you guys get out and maybe make some videos sometime. If you guys start a channel or anything, let me know. So, uh, anyway guys, uh, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Hit the thumbs up if you like it. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care guys.